Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about curling hair, specifically short hair, because I had been getting requests for different hairstyles on short hair, which I think I will be doing like a whole video on different hairstyles soon, and also just how to curl hair with a straightener. So I decided to curl half of my hair with a straightener and then half, or at least like this front section with a curling wand, just to show you guys that there are different ways to curl your hair and to see the different type of a curl that you can get with a straightener as well as a curling wand. And keep in mind that everything that I'm doing on my hair can also be used for long hair. It doesn't have to be my length or anything. So if you guys would like to see how I curl my short hair, then just keep watching. So I'm going to show you guys how to curl your hair with a flat iron first. And I'm using a GHD flat iron. I don't know if there's like a specific name for this one, but if I can find it on their website, I will leave it in the description box. I'm gonna also show you guys how to curl it while the straightener is not on, just so that I don't like fry my hair, just trying to teach you guys how I actually do it because I wanna show you guys slowly. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys first with it off and then I will go ahead and turn it on and then you can actually see it being curled. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I usually like clamp the hair. So I take about a section this big. You just clamp the hair and then flip the hair and the straightener backwards. So if you flip it only a little bit, you'll get more of like a twist curl. And if you flip it like all the way around like this, you'll get a really tight like ringlet type curl. So after you flip it however far you want it to be flipped, all you have to do literally is just run the straightener all the way down the hair and then you'll have a curled piece of hair. So I'm just letting my straightener heat up, but I think I'm going to do a couple curls on this side of my head with a curling wand because that's actually how I prefer to curl my short hair. And a lot of people have been asking how to curl short hair and a lot of people have been asking how to curl hair with straightener. So I thought that I would just kind of like do both of them together in this video and show you guys what I like to do. So when I'm curling my hair with a straightener, I like to section off like the top half of my hair just to get it out of the way so that I can reach like the lower layers. I usually start from the front and like I explained earlier, I'm going to clamp the hair and I'm only going to twist it about halfway so that I get like a looser curl, but I will show you guys what a tighter curl looks like. So that's what my looser curls look like and I'll show you a tighter one like on the top layer just so it's easier to see but I'm just gonna go ahead and like quickly do the rest of this bottom layer and a tip is to actually run your straightener over your hair once before you do the curl it smooths everything out and it usually makes the curls look a lot nicer in the end I'm going to do this one towards my face and I'm just going to twist the straightener towards my face and then run it down my hair Now for the back of my hair, what I usually like to do is the very tiny like bottom pieces here, I'll actually curl under so you basically just like grab a section of your hair and then just tilt the straightener so that it kind of gives like a little bit of a bend. So then when I get to the other side of my face, obviously I curl all of the pieces around my face away because I think it's more flattering on myself personally and that's just what I like. So when I get to the top half of my hair, I actually like to start in the back. There's no real reason of why I do this, but I just always tend to do that. And for the back pieces, I do a couple facing one way and then a couple facing the other way just because it looks a little bit better. And sometimes on the top layer, I do like to do a couple facing in the opposite way too. I'll go ahead and show you what it's like to get a tighter like ringlet curl. So you want to take another section about the same size and then you're going to clamp it with your straightener and this time instead of just turning it about there, you're going to turn it all the way around so that the hair is at the front again and then you're just going to run it down the hair again. The very bottom didn't curl all that well, but that's okay because I'm hoping you guys get the idea. Basically, instead of only turning the straightener like halfway, you would flip it all the way around again. So for the pieces in front of my face, I like to start about halfway because it doesn't give a 
like really big curl and I like the pieces in the front of my face to be kind of loose and just flowy if that makes any sense so I'll start about halfway down the hair instead of like all the way up here and then you don't get much of a curl it's just more like a slight bend to your hair so I do the same thing it's just I start lower and then I flip it and then run it down the hair so you get more like this little bend in the front. I don't know why I do it. I think it looks good. <laughs> and to curl this front section of my hair, I'm going to use the Numi 5-in-1 Lustrum set. And I'm going to use the smallest wand attachment because I think that works best for short hair. Because with the bigger ones, you don't get as much curl definition. And I think the smallest one works best because you're not working with a lot of hair. Basically, I will take the same amount of hair pretty much as I would with the straightener. So just like a small section like this. And then I'm going to turn the curling wand down this way and all I literally do is wrap my hair around the wand but I don't wrap it super close to each other I kind of like wrap it like spaced out around the wand so like this otherwise people do it like this but you get a really tight curl and I don't like that so I like to have the hair kind of spaced out on the wand and then I hold it for a few seconds probably sometimes longer than I should but that's okay and then I just let it go and then you're left with like a perfect curl And for the very like front pieces of my hair, I also like to do something similar as what I do with the straightener. So I will only wrap the hair around about halfway down and then I will do it really, really far out. So I'll only wrap it around like once and that kind of gives the same look as the one that I did with the straightener. So just a tiny little like curl. So that is how I curl my hair with a straightener as well as a curling wand. Let me know in the comments what you guys like better. Do you like the curling wand side or do you like the straightener side? I think they do actually give like quite a different look. So that's why you guys need to kind of experiment and play around with different ways of curling your hair because you can actually get like quite different looks from using a curling wand and a straightener. And also let me know if you found this video helpful, especially for those of you who had been requesting this video. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I tried my best to explain it, so hopefully it did come out clearly. <laughs> if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also click that subscribe button so that you guys can keep up with my future uploads. You can also follow me on all of my social media, which will be at the end of this video, as well as in the description box. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!